Welcome back. So we are done with all the side quests in Baldur's Gate. And at this point, uh, we have a choice. We could either continue with the main quest, or we could do all the Tales of the Sword Coast content. Tales of the Sword Coast being yeah, the yeah. official expansion to Baldur's Gate. I need rest if I am to fight. Uh, the official expansion is just uh, a couple more side quests, and they can be done at any point in the game, but not after you have finished the main quest. So we have to do them before we finish the main quest. And I've decided to do them now because we are fairly high level, so we can do them. And I think we've seen enough of Baldur's Gate. We've been strolling around the streets of the city for weeks on end now, so uh, it'll, it'll yes, be a welcome change a lady. to see some greener the pastures. One knows of all your sins. Yes, my sins are grave, and so I shall uh, donate some money to the temple. And redeem Ooh, my reputation. We'll longer than I had originally yes. thought. And the reason I'm doing this, it is done. We bribed it back to nine, right? Right? What? Huh? As I thought. Is that I'm going to perform potentially a lot of evil in the Tales of the Sword Coast expansion, so uh, I don't want my reputation to drop too low. Of course, when it drops too low. Um, neutral or good aligned party members start uh, leaving the party and they leave forever and you get attacked by flaming fists guard on side everywhere it's not good so here we are in old god's beard uh -huh. and the first question you might ask is why is this called old god's beard who is old god and what does his beard have to do with anything? Well, uh, Volo, in his uh, guide to the Sword Coast, can provide us with some insight here. A warning beacon is maintained on the cliff top to alert Baldur's Gate to attacking ships. Uh, the cliff in question is uh, where Olgoth's Olgoth Beards is uh, located. In fact, the name of the settlement comes out of its history of being attacked by sea. Ogoth was a stout, bristle-bearded pirate of Certainly great girth. I shall collapse and, from exhaustion uh, before I fall on the battlefield. Yes, uh, and greater reputation. The beacon was said to singe Olgoth's beard by robbing him of surprise, so that the raiding force he led was met by ready resistance and hurled back with the loss of many pirate lives, including Olgoth's own. So that's basically the so. story. And a lot of side quests originate from this town. We'll rest first because we are quite tired. The first thing of interest here is the mage Chandelar. Yes? I know of you. You are of, a, you are of an odd countenance and I can count pretty darn high too. I have need of you. What say you to this? This is no ordinary mage. Uh, Chandelar is the highest level NPC in the game. <clears throat> He's also uh, the toughest one to kill. He's tougher than anyone, any other NPC. Actually, I didn't find any non-cheesy way to kill him. He has like uh, maximal resistance to everything except magic. And he force casts all his spells. Uh, basically, he's nigh unkillable. And he's a, well, he's sort of a personality in the realms, as he is mentioned by Volo, again. Volo says, uh, Chandelar is an eccentric mage who dwells in a floating house east of the hamlet. The house in question cannot be seen in the game, however. It's actually a moored Halruan skyship. Its upper, desk, uh, upper decks rebuilt into a series of balconies, hanging gardens, gabled rooms and lightning rods. According to Volo's account, beneath the wizard's house lies an extensive network of caverns where several monsters loyal to Chandelar, living mushrooms, locals swear, harvest different variety of mushrooms, which Chandelar sells for good money. This cave is also known for keeping certain of his treasures. Little of this can be seen in the game. For some weird reason, Chandelar is also the highest level NPC in the game, as I have said. And uh, his, his reaction to you depends a lot on your reputation and on what you have done. 
Supposedly, if you have killed his daughters in Baldur's Gate, his daughters being um, Helshara, Ithmira, and Delorna at Oberon's estate, the one who were guarding all Ruan skyship components, and now that we have read Volo's account, we can understand why they would keep such components. Um, he's supposed to blame you for it and uh, send you directly on your on the quest with no way out. But here he'll actually give us a choice for some reason. Well, speak your mind and then I will decide. Sensible. You may truly be as you appear, but I still must test to assure your nature. I would ask a task of you. That you retrieve an item I lost some time ago. You will be sent from this place to another place, and when you have succeeded, you will be allowed to return. Simple enough in my mind, though most things are these days. The item is a cloak I have <clears throat> misplaced. You retrieving it will ease the burden of a busy evening. What say you? Well, I might do it, if there was suitable reward. Most certainly. There will be your life and all that you scrounge. Anything beyond what I ask for is yours. Sufficient? Sounds like a great deal. Let's go right now. When you have located my cloak, return to where you arrived and this war token will affect your release, uh, your passage back. Off you go now. Wait, your release? Does that mean we are imprisoned? You have been teleported by Chandelar far up to the north, on an island lost within the ice flows of the northern ocean. Well, at least it's good to know that we are still on the prime material plane. There is a polar bear here. We'll let him live. There is a ne there are nearly extinct extinct species. If you wish. And we'll enter the cave. There's not much else to do. Your worthless lives Forward. end here. Where there are apparently uh, winter wolves. Your Why worthless lives end here. Death. Oh yeah, in my inventory, I still have not equipped this. The large shield plus one plus four versus missiles. And that'll go to Zekhal. And his shield will go to Piconia. Yes. What? What do you want? Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. Well, 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 I sense the ripples and there you are, but you are something new. Tell me, friend, how come you to this place? I was sent by Chandelar. Seems there is something on his, on his of the, of his on this island that he wants returned. Chandelar. Well, there is a name I have not heard in a while. Aye, he was here. The bastard managed to escape, though I know not how. This isle is much like a prison and is uncharted on any map I have seen. The stars indicate we are far to the south, but I cannot seem to get more precise than this. This place seems to ensnare magical energy, pulling it from the air. If you are a mage in transport, it pulls you as well, plucks you from the ether, and deposits you here. Leaving the island by magical means seems entirely impossible. It's weird he would say that uh, we are far to the south, as when we arrived. The message, the message said we were far up to the north. So either uh, he's... Um, his account is wrong, or the game is just uh, confused on this. What is the purpose of this place? Who's, who constructed it? I do not know an answer to either question. It could be a joke of the gods, or a test, or both. It is hard to tell with gods. It could be a natural phenomenon, though the tunnels below certainly are not. Trapped mages may have fashioned them for shelter, however. There's a little else to do here except plot, study, or go mad. I prefer to plot. On that note, if you, if you would be so kind as to strip down and give me what you're carrying, I would be ever so grateful. What? Well, if you want my equipment, you're going to have to take it. Certainly. First you, then the others here. I need all the power I can get, and I don't mind taking it by force. Huh? 
and he's a pretty high level mage and he has other mages with him and we will try to uh -huh. uh, run away I'm gonna summon in some skeletons I'm gonna cast haste um, protection from evil because I suppose they are evil Oh yeah, and resist fear. Yes. Very important. Okay, you skeleton. Walk yes. there. We need to attack him ASAP. Life is so hollow. Again you disturb me. Magic missile. Little Night Singer, give me now Natha. What is your bidding? Great peril yields great beauty. Huh? And he teleports away. We have another summon skeleton. They're gonna start uh, attacking each other. So they don't appear to uh, be in very good terms with one another yes. there. This guy teleports like uh, they are. Fight well, for now you will die. Okay, well that is another one down. Bane and then Marcus. I don't want. Sure. All right. Like wherever fate takes me. On his body, we do find a journal. So I need an L. That might be interesting. The journal of Andres of Eriebor. With that, I had more paper to write upon, but much was burnt in haste for warmth. Little there is to document anyway, and so I leave the small writ for any that might find my corpse. For that is the only way it shall part from me. Know that Andres does curse you for your life, and that should I return in some fell form I will hunt you for the sheer spite of you seeing my decimated body. The business of that aside, I hope that you who read this have suffered the same fate as I. The indignity of this condition. With all the power at my fingers I must huddle around a dung fire eating seal fat. The forces behind this place have no respect for my stature, my power. I have slain beasts thrice my size with a glance, and travel as a bird over, the o over oceans. Here my magic is sucked to the earth, and, I'm, and I am held, as others are. Some have escaped, and I swear I shall hunt them and take the power they must have. To do what I cannot, they must be great indeed. I curse them for leaving, I curse this place, and I curse that I have not the might to follow. So, he's a, he was an evil guy, and... We released him. Albeit in death. Okay. I don't want to talk. Uh -huh. hmm. I'm kind of surprised I finished that battle in one try. Usually I have to reload several times. It's quite difficult. Yeah, onward to because of the confusion spells they cast and everything. Yes. Luck be a lady. Yes. Olsa, Kalas, na. What? It is done. Great peril yields great beauty. Down here there is nothing of interest. 